12. Hello. To another build. Um, I so loved building the uh, Angel Wing Designs plug. I decided, I went and treated myself to the Angel Wings, the Damit, which is basically an electric flying wing. Um, it's turned up in the post. I did buy this plane. Uh, let's open up the box from Angel Wing Designs, the Damit, and let's see what we've got. Nice bit of combat tape used in the box. Right, there we go. So, what do we got here? It's all nicely sellotaped down into the bottom of the box. And that is just a bit of provisional packing. Brilliant. And The wood pack and wow, that's some impressive looking stickers. Um, right, gonna leave the stickers in there, they're staying in the box. And let's find out what we've got in here. very well packed well thought of some care and attentions unlike some of the stuff on some of the videos I've seen for people buying aeroplanes from uh, the likes of Banggood and all those other places so that's a hardware pack um, four clevis pins two carbon rods some magnets and some black screws uh, that's two dowels having a cursory look at the pictures I will, there we go right right always worth checking the bag before you chuck it out there's not bits stuck to it so let's have a little look here let's get it all out again it looks like superb laser cutting uh, I'm just going to get it all out at the moment Wow, there it all is. Um, now, I have, will put a link to the pictures that are available from the build from um, Angel Wing Designs. Now, when I purchased the kit, they very kindly sent me an email, and the name in the email was this four page printout, which is basically the same as the pug. So the idea is you line up all four. Now looking at the provisional pictures, my plan is, what I've done is, um, the pictures are very thorough. At the moment there's no build, sort of written build thread. I'm rather hoping that this was going to help a lot of people by doing this on the video. 
So what I'm going to do, and I know I'm whittling on a little bit here, but uh, it's just important to get this right. You've got this. I'm also going to include a link in the video to the pictures. Now what I've done is I've actually downloaded the pictures onto a memory stick and then I've just brought that up to use on my laptop in the cabin but if you wanted to they're uh, dead simple you could just keep the pictures on your phone um, keep your pictures on an iPad and use those to reference but I'm rather hoping that as we go through this that I can eliminate that process so projects to be doing before I see you in the next video looking at the pictures I'm going to stick these together